Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. In this video, I will discuss the three-dimensional Dirac Delta function. Previously, I have made two videos on Dirac Delta function. So you can watch those videos also. The links of the videos I will give in the description box. So what is three-dimensional Dirac Delta function? So if you have watched the video, the previous video of the Dirac Delta function, that is the Dirac Delta function video lecture number two. So you understand what is the uh, properties of Dirac Delta function, one dimensional Dirac Delta function. So uh, in three dimensional Dirac Delta function, this is denoted as this del cube of R, where R is what? R is the distance uh, from the origin to the point, okay, like this. We have a three dimensional uh, space, X, Y and Z. And suppose we have a point at this point, so this is R, okay. This is uh, the distance R, this distance, okay. Now this is equals to what? This is equals to del of X into del of Y into del of, into del of Z. So uh, why I have written this? Because you know, we already know that del of x and del of, del of y and del of z are individually uh, one dimensional direct delta functions. Okay, this is one dimensional direct delta function, this is one dimensional direct delta function, this is one dimensional direct delta function. And you know that uh, the properties of direct delta function, one dimensional direct delta function is what? Uh, all of these individual, these uh, direct delta functions. Uh, the value of all these, all of these, each of these is zero except at origin and at origin it blows up. That is at origin its value is infinity. So uh, at origin, so at origin that is at x equals to zero, y equals to zero, x equals to zero, y equals to zero and z equals to zero. That is at uh, r equals to zero. Okay. It means that this is r equals to zero at point this. Okay, this, at this condition, this will look like infinity into infinity into infinity, that is, it is infinity. So, del q bar is infinity at r equals to 0 and at r except at any point, uh, except this point at r equals to 0, that is, except origin for uh, whatever may be the point, that is, r not equals to 0. Okay, then the case is 0 because then each of these is 0. Okay. So this is the def definition of the three-dimensional Dirac Delta function. Now, uh, as uh, similarly, like one-dimensional Dirac Delta function, del cube r into d tau over all the space, where d tau is what? A small volume element, okay, is equals to what? What will be this equals to? So this will be equal to minus infinity to the plus infinity del x okay we are writing this like this the three limits i am putting minus infinity to the plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity this is all the space okay from x equals to minus infinity to plus infinity from y equals to minus infinity to plus infinity and from z equals to minus infinity to plus infinity these are the limits and what will be here here will be del of x into del of y into del of z into del of z right so into uh, dx dy dz so this will be what this will be one okay y one according to the principles or according to the properties of Dirac delta functions which i have also proved or also discussed or also explained in the previous video that is in the video in the lecture number two of the Dirac delta function now we have seen one property of Dirac delta function, three-dimensional Dirac delta function. Number two property is also similar to the property of one-dimensional Dirac delta function. That is, del cube of r uh, into f of r minus a integration over all space into d tau is equal to what? f of a like this is also like the uh, previous case that is the case of one dimensional Dirac delta function so these are the things these are the properties of the 3d Dirac delta function now the most important and most interesting thing of Dirac delta function 
now uh, if you have uh, watched the previous the pre first lecture okay the lecture number one of the dual delta function there i have uh, mentioned a paradox okay a so called paradox or a problem of electrostatics that is okay i am discussing this and now and in that video i have uh, stated that the paradox can only be solved with the help of dirac delta function okay now i will uh, show you that how this paradox can be solved with the help of dirac delta function so i am clearing this now if you remember that we have a function r cap by r square we had a function i r cap by r square there and the divergence of that function that is del dot r cap by r square is was zero at any point at any point except at origin and at origin at origin origin what is its value its value was infinity right and one more another and another thing was del dot r cap by r square into d tau integration was what was equals to 4 pi right now how this can be uh, generalized with the help of Dirac delta function so let us understand it suppose uh, del dot r cap by r square we are uh, defining del, we are suppose this function del dot r cap by r square is equals to 4 pi into del cube of r that is the this is what this is the three-dimensional Dirac delta function now what happens let us understand it so its value will be what its value will be that is the value of del dot r cap by r square is now will be equal to now its value will be 0 at any point that is at r not equals to 0 and at r equals to 0 its value will be tending to infinity that is these two conditions are satisfied here these two conditions okay now one more another thing uh, del dot r cap by r square into d tau the integral is equals to what 4 pi is taken outside and there will be a integral all space because this they are also the integral was over the all space right if you remember that so all space into del cube of r into d tau and this is what this is equals to 1 we have previously understand this concept that this is equals to 1 so 4 pi and this is also satisfying here this is what is this this and these are same so this is also uh, satisfied here so you can understand now if you think it uh, with your own self intuitively then you will understand that this all these things are uh, symmetrically uh, satisfied here with the help of Dirac delta function this is the beauty this is the beauty of Dirac delta function okay now I think that I have cleared all the concepts of Dirac delta function one more uh, thing that I have missed or I have um, skipped in the previous video that is one more uh, property of Dirac delta function one dimensional Dirac delta function that is del of k into x where k is what k is a constant okay arbitrary constant which is equals to mod of k 1 by mod of k into del of x this is also a important property of Dirac delta function which can also be proved okay but in this video i will not prove this okay so i think that you have understood all the concepts so subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for the upcoming notifications of the latest conceptual videos on the various topics of physics. So take care of yourself. Thank you for watching.